whistle here. And there it is from Mario Malero. And we are underway. And that's what Valverde and them have been saying is just, you know, okay, we're top of the league. We're okay as we are going into the winter break. We need to peak in March and April. Dangerous for Griezmann. the needle and it is the connection as Suarez finds the honorary Uruguayan and Barcelona on the board. And Valverde standing there going, oh thank heavens we've scored. It'll take a bit of pressure off him, take a bit of pressure off Griezmann because there's still some Barca fans are not entirely convinced he get towards them. And that's that's vintage Barcelona. Lovely interplay, opportunities, threading balls through. It's a lovely move, goes wide, gets cut back in. Griezmann doesn't have to touch it first, and that's real skill. Coming from Suarez, he was looking for Arturo Vidal, perhaps, but it goes to Griezmann. Doesn't mess about. First time touch in the corner. Lovely strike, and they're up and running before the 15-minute mark. The back half is covered by the other nine players. <laughs> Messi settles, dribbles. Suarez, Vidal, and just seconds before the first half comes to a close, Arturo Vidal pulls out the sword and slices through the Alaves defense. Yeah, the fans are on their feet, and no wonder what a fantastic strike from that man. Fifth goal of the season, and that's why I think he should be a starter for this team. He pushes forward, he creates opportunities, he's attack-minded. And for a second there, I'm thinking, do you pass the ball? Have a look at the build-up here. Comes across, and it's going to go to Suarez. He's going to play it wide. I'm thinking, do you try and play it back to Messi? Do you look for Griezmann? No, I do not. I just stick it in the far side of the goal. Absolutely fantastic strike. Power gives Pacheco no chance whatsoever. Lovely, lovely and beautifully teed up by Luis Suarez. But look at it from behind. Fantastic strike. And we were saying, will Valverde be relaxed at halftime at 1-0? No. At 2-0, I think the manager will be a lot happier. And Luis Suarez setting up both goals here today. Now, he does a lot of the things that Ernesto Valverde needs for this team to work. Like this, tracking all the way back. Ball goes wide for Duarte. Gets the cross away. Met and buried. A flying ball in for Pear Pons. Lucas Perez making the trailing run and smashing it home. Pear Pons with his first goal of the season, and Ter Stegen could not even see it, let alone stop it. Wow, we got a situation now. It all turns around. A lovely move down the left-hand side. What a good ball in. Whipped in, bent, and it's a fantastic timing and header from Pear Pons. Absolutely brilliant. Ruben Duarte with a cross. Pear Pons with a fantastic header, and you're right, Ter Stegen doesn't even move. And again, you watch that if we get the chance again. Five or six even and send the fans away happy. These fans are not happy. Maybe a couple of goals last 20 minutes might change their attitude, but already I think they're beginning to question just is this team good enough? Dangerous chance and why not? Lionel Messi puts out the fire single-handedly, netting his 13th of the season to take over the scoring lead and lift Barcelona back to a two-goal margin. There you go. The fans are happy again, and it's that man who does it every time, and it's that same angle, isn't it? On the left side, picks his spot. He's so quick and so accurate and so powerful. But that is exactly what Valverde needed, and not nothing too late as well. But look, long way out. He's got four white shirts around him, and he can still find that angle on that left foot, pulls it out. He knows what he's going to do already, and he does it absolutely brilliantly. And he's taken the pressure off his manager, his teammates. And maybe now they will go on to win the game comfortably and send the fans home happy. But the little genius does it once again. And a hat trick of assists for Luis Suarez. Of course, pretty. Gets a good ball behind Suarez. Dishes for Vidal. Vidal to the back post. Up and over. But deflected by the. Again, good ball in. Wasn't it there from Arturo Vidal? Let's have a look. 
and it does. His back is to the ball, but his arm is extended, making his body bigger, and they're going to call the penalty. A productive day. Pacheco dancing on the line. Suarez strikes, sneaks it past the fingertips, and it doesn't stop till the back of the net. <laughs> Good finish. Lots of power in that penalty. Even as a keeper, if you go the right way, you're going to struggle to make the save. The kids are happy. The fans are happy. For a moment there, they were panicking. But they've turned it around. 4-1 is a good result. If it stays like that, I think the Barca fans will go into the winter break. Extremely delighted with being top of the table. Unless, of course, Real Madrid beat Athletic Club 7-1, which is highly, highly unlikely. They will be top. It's good to finish. Power keeper does go the right way. But the speed of that ball means it's almost impossible as a keeper to get your hand in it. Pacheco very, very close.